And John Brennan, I want to read more from that New York Times report about the ignored warnings. The Times is reporting that just three months before the attacks, a veteran, <coughs> excuse me, a veteran analyst with Unit 8, 8200, Israel's Signals Intelligence Agency, that's electronic intercepts as we know, warned that Hamas had conducted an intense day-long training exercise that appeared similar to what was outlined in the blueprint. But a colonel in the Gaza division brushed off her concerns, according to encrypted emails viewed by the Times. I utterly refute that the scenario is imaginary, the analyst wrote in the email exchanges, adding, it is a plan designed to start a war. It's not just a raid on a village. With your intelligence experience, let, please address that. How serious is this? <clears throat> was very serious and very shocking. And uh, obtaining a plan by your adversary um, in advance of an attack is invaluable. And they could have, the Israelis could have even determined that it was aspirational at that point and the Hamas didn't have the capabilities to carry out such a broad attack. But that document should have been driving Israel's intelligence collection effort over the last year. They should have tried to collect all indications that Hamas was moving forward with its capabilities. And it, the document should have been used as an analytic prism to assess everything that the Israelis were able to collect and to see. And that analyst did the exact right thing, which was to look at that document and to see whether or not it correlates with any of the things that they are observing or see, collecting through intelligence means. And so the person who basically refuted you know, her good analysis, there never should be this single point of failure. And that document should have been shared broadly within the Israeli intelligence community. And they should have red teamed it. I would even say that this is something that they should have shared with U.S. intelligence as a way to see whether or not the U.S. intelligence had any sense that Hamas was developing these types of capabilities. So, again, there's going to be quite a review and a commission that's going to look at this. But it really does look, uh, question just how, how broken the Israeli intelligence system was and the, and the connection with policymakers and whether or not that system today is as strong as I think a lot of us uh, saw it to be in years past. Is it conceivable that the U.S. knew about this, this so-called uh, so uh, Joshua Wall report, without having more well, Israel? It, so, is that possible? It's possible that the Israelis showed it to other intelligence services. I, I don't know. Uh, I would think there's something like this. And it's, it appears as though there was no uh, um, questioning that it was an actual Hamas document. They just didn't believe that Hamas had the capabilities to do this. So given that it was obtained directly from Hamas, I think the Israelis really should have done everything possible to see whether or not there was any, any indication that Hamas was able to carry out this type of attack. And I would like to think that they would have shared it, you know, broadly within the intelligence community. But and I have no sense about whether or not they shared it with U.S. intelligence. But uh, U.S. intelligence does have capabilities uh, that I think that the Israelis should have asked whether or not we saw anything along those lines. And it should have, at the very least, had the troops there to respond more quickly than they did eventually respond. Well, perhaps yes, the fact when that, that she was pointed out three months before that this was going to, you know, they were seeing indications of this planning and preparations. And the fact that, like, that music festival was so lightly defended and there was no augmented Israeli defense forces of security along the Gaza Strip there, I mean, that is, I think, is a failure on, on multiple levels in, in multiple areas. Perhaps if a man had been the analyst warning it, they would have taken it a little more seriously? Just saying.